and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be on how to be a discreet age regressor. Basically someone who needs to, or needs to, feels the need to keep their regression a secret from the people that they live with. For me personally, I had to be a discreet regressor in college the first semester that I was there because I lived in a dorm and I did have a single because I'm disabled. I didn't have a roommate but even still like having people coming in and out or having you know room checks whatever and then of course also like during COVID I had to live with my family again so in that environment too I wanted to be discreet and if you have roommates or it's just a personal and vulnerable thing that they might not know about or even if they do know about you don't necessarily want it like at the forefront of things that's totally understandable a disclaimer that i'm now going to be putting in all my videos is that this video and all my content is geared at adults although age regression is non-sexual and i have been regressing voluntarily since i was 15 and regressing symptomatically long before that i do not personally believe based on mostly personal experience actually that the internet is a safe place for people under 18 and although I know that I have no say over like who's online or who's watching me and stuff like just please be safe and now that I just turned 23 I just really only feel comfortable interacting with other adults and that's where my life is at and since I share from my life and my personal experience I would just rather share with people that are potentially in a similar place in life to me so yeah I hope that makes sense but anyways I'm also gonna give you guys a few updates before I get into the video. If you don't care, <laughs> feel free to skip ahead. I'm not sure what the timestamp is gonna be, but if you wanna skip around, that's totally fine. First, I have a very exciting update. I'm sure you guys know because I talk about it all the time, but I do Patreon, and that is where the bulk of my long form content is. It's interviews with my caregiver, vlogs that include like my caregiver and just like my day-to-day -day life. It's like a lot more personal. It's way more in depth. It's way more vulnerable. It's just where I feel comfortable sharing because it's a closer tight-knit community that I can actually moderate as opposed to here on YouTube where the algorithm is kind of out of my hands and stuff. And it's really fun. I have, I think almost 200 videos on there now. It's, I'm coming up on my year anniversary of being on there, but I try to post multiple videos a week and I also post like tons of photo diaries and posts and stuff, but I started a new tier, which is gonna be called, or is called, cause it's out now, Leah's Snail Mail Club. And that is basically where twice a month, if you sign up for that tier, you get all the content from the $5 tier, which is like the one I just described. But now, if you upgrade to the snail mail tier, twice a month you get a little package, which is a letter from me, activity sheets, worksheets, mental health resources, journal prompts, stickers, probably postcards if I can find cute ones, and other just like little goodies. Each like package or little like letter is gonna have a theme and yeah it's geared towards people who are interested in inner child healing and age regressors and people who just like find worksheets and that kind of content and sort of like affirmations and like physical things you can hold in your hand like helpful and beneficial and also just like cute things and stationery and whatever that's who it's geared at so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in I'm not doing it like for profit, if that makes sense. So it's $10 right now. That price might fluctuate based on like, I don't wanna be sending out cheap and like lame stuff. So if the price point of like what I'm needing to purchase for the tier, like goes up too high, I might need to increase it to $15, but I would really like to keep it at 10 and keep it affordable. Anyways, now I'm just rambling. But if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, please go check out my Patreon. I really hope that you guys will like it, find it cute and beneficial and helpful and stuff. So yeah, if you wanna get a package from me twice a month, <laughs> go here. <laughs> that is update number one. Update number two, I don't really know how this is going to affect my content whatsoever, but as you guys know, a lot of my content, if not all my content, is pre-recorded. Usually when I'm posting, especially on Instagram, what you're seeing is usually going to be a few weeks to a month or two old, like from when I took it, and my health in the past like two and a half weeks has deteriorated in certain ways. And it's remained stable in other ways, but, and 
I'm not gonna get too into all the details. And again, like I said, you can skip this if you don't care. But I've been doing really vigorous, my version of vigorous, physical therapy with two different like specialties in physical therapy, like twice a week, if not more. And it is taking it out of me so hard. My body is very, very deconditioned from being sick for so long and just being so weak and so debilitated. So the physical therapy is basically for all my specific issues and like pain areas, but it's also to make sure that I can even like walk at all, stand at all, like, and it's just, but it's been really hard. I'm in so much pain. I have the heating pad on right now. So I don't know if it'll affect my content at all because usually I'll take like, none of this really matters, but I take all my content ahead of time so that when I don't feel good, which is a lot of the time, I am prepared, but I'm just saying going forward, there might be like lapses or I just might seem out of it and like not good. I'm having um, new upper gastric symptoms, which is really frustrating and weird and concerning and new. Like whenever something's new, I get freaked out. So yeah, I've been in and out of really important appointments about that stuff and we're just figuring out what needs to happen. All that to say, if I randomly disappear for periods of time, it's simply because I ran out of pre-recorded content and I'm just having a hard time. And like, don't freak out. If anything like really bad happened, I would tell you. Anyways, all that to say, let's get into the video. Okay, how to be a discreet regressor. Number one, I personally feel like, and this depends on who you live with and like what kind of society or like culture you're surrounded by but i feel like a lot of things are becoming more widely accepted like i feel like the sort of like cute aesthetic especially to do with like sanrio kind of stuff or like anime stuff is like really popular right now and i feel like there's a lot of like overlap with like cute stuff like cute themes that i feel like you could get away with a lot of like mainstream brands have been partnering with like for example like strawberry shortcake or care bears and there's kind of like this like wave of nostalgia going on in like mainstream culture right now so i think personally a lot of things that maybe in the past were less accepted are kind of more accepted now like fidget toys adult coloring books stuffed animals like jelly cat is so popular sanrio stuff like i said action figures especially if they're from like an anime or a show that's popular like cute blankets every time i go into like home goods or like any like mainstream store that's like you could find kind of all over the country like they have a lot of like cute themed stuff especially with spring and summer and like around easter too i mean easter's gone but there's like a lot of like bunny themed stuff i feel like you can get away with having more cute stuff around than you used to so that's my first recommendation and especially then, because if someone asks you where you got something, you can just be like, oh, TJ Maxx. Like, everyone goes to TJ Maxx, you know what I mean? Also, another disclaimer, like, there's absolutely nothing shameful about your aggression. If you want it to be, like, my house where it's like, okay, that's a lot of pink. <laughs> and, like, that's for a three-year-old. Absolutely go for it. I'm, this video is really only for, like, people that are just in environments that are a little bit, like, smothering or just it's just too vulnerable and personal. Like I don't at all mean for this video to come across as like you should hide and here are how to, here's how to do it. Like you don't need to, but if you do need to for the reasons I just said, you know what I mean? Anyways, second, hiding things. I'm, I feel like I'm really good at hiding things, which maybe is not good, like hiding physical things. I'm gonna show you some of the ways that I recommend to hide stuff. I mean, like, you probably know all of the, like, basic, like, shove it in the back of your closet or in a drawer or whatever. But these are going to be really specific and geared at things that you would want to potentially hide with regression. Number one is going to be the vase trick. So you're going to get a vase. <laughs> can be as big as you want. Just make sure it's not clear. And then you're going to get fake flowers like I have here. And then this bottom part you can just fill with stuff. So a lot of age regressors use pacifiers or teethers or just something. For me, it's like I have really, really, really bad jaw clenching problems from just like stress and stuff. And like chewing on stuff helps me de-stress in that way. It's also just a good distraction. I'm like a big lip biter and like skin picker. So it's just good to have like a hand to mouth or just like hand, your hand is busy, your mouth is busy sort of thing going on. Anyways, 
all comfort items are valid in my book but so you're gonna take it right and you're just gonna plop it in you can fit a bunch in here honestly and then you're just gonna cover it back up with your flowers and then even if you look in you can't really see them and no one is gonna be like digging rightfully through here so that is my first tip you can do that with other like small easily concealed items as well but the other method that i really like for small things for this example i'm going to be using one of my littlest pet shops <laughs> is the sock method so you got your socks right all you're going to do is plop it in the sock take your other sock fold it over and you're going to do one of these and you can barely even tell which which side it's on. It's right here. But like no one is gonna suspect this. These are just your clean socks. It's not like just in your sock drawer or like bunched in there. Like no one's gonna be unfolding your socks, I would assume. So yeah, I really like this method. And then for kind of bulkier things, again, it depends on what size stuff you're trying to hide. But this is the other method I came up with, the sleeve method. So here I have one of my big like hoodies. You can do this with like a shirt that you don't usually wear often. It just has to be long sleeved. So say you want to hide like a bottle. This is one of my bluey water bottles. You're going to take a hair tie and you're going to take the sleeve and you are going to wrap the hair tie around the bottom of the sleeve as many times as you want like that. And then you're going to take your bottle and you're gonna push it through the sleeve like this. And then when you hang it up, see how it's in there? When you hang this up in your closet, you're just gonna hang it up so that the sleeve with nothing in it is facing out and the sleeve with the stuff in it is facing the wall. And just put it in the back of your closet and don't let people borrow your clothes and just make sure you remember what shirt it's in and do it when you don't wear that often, I would say. And then you can stack, you could probably stack like, I don't know, maybe two, three, four bottles in here. And no one will ever be the wiser. And then if you want to wash the bottles, you can just sort of bundle it up like this. And then when you go to take a shower or whatever, take it in as your change of clothing, wash the bottles in the sink with the door locked, and then you can just transfer them into what you were wearing before or you can just be like, I, no, I decided I'm not gonna wear this and bring it back to your room. So yeah, those are my hiding things methods. If you maybe don't wanna hide things but you would rather sort of like use alternatives, I really recommend, I'll put them on the screen, like adult teether necklaces or just like things you could munch on. But that can be a good alternative. Cute kids water bottles. I really like like just see what things around you you can sort of like make cute like whether it's decor or like a practical item or just like add like little keychains or stickers to things I feel like that's like a good alternative if you can't like go out and get coloring books you can just like print off coloring pages individually use like media to help you regress like kids shows and stuff because obviously like that's not like an item that someone could find and then also diy there are so many cute crafts for kids there's so much stuff you can make for yourself if you can't like buy toys and stuff and a lot of things you could even like take apart after i can do a whole video on that alone actually if you want like if you want to see a video on like diy like regression items and kids toys please let me know because i would love to do that and also just sort of remember that regardless of what you own or don't own or can and can't have, can and can't display, remember that inner child healing truly exists all around you and it can be as simple as just putting on like comfy clothes and going into the woods and just sitting in nature for a little bit and like building a fairy house or just admiring the small details around you or just picking up some bubbles at like the dollar store and like going in your yard and just blowing bubbles. Like it doesn't need to be this thing that you you know you feel the need to get all i mean comfort items are great but i'm just saying like if you're in a situation where you just can't really have reg like items like regression items like definitely definitely try to utilize just the space around you 
like if you like a library card is free if you want to go and just like go to the library and sit down and read kids books or books that are nostalgic to you there's just a million like avenues of inner child healing it doesn't you know need to be like you don't need to have complete access cut off just because you live in a situation where you don't necessarily have the space in your home if that makes sense but yeah those are all of my discreet age regressor tips i really hope that you liked this video and find found it helpful <laughs> sorry i'm like so having word finding problems and like speech issues right now but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video i love you and i will see you in the next one